Number 17, letter A. How much gravitational potential energy relative to the ground on which it is built is stored in the Great Pyramid of Cheops? Given that its mass is about 7 times 10 to the 9 kilograms and its center of mass is 36.5 meters above the surrounding ground. All right, so we're talking about gravitational potential energy. We're going to highlight this formula on the right-hand side. So this says that the gravitational potential energy right, is equal to the mass of the object multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity, multiplied then by the height differential between um, the you know, between the uh, lowest point and the highest point, all right? So in this problem, they're relating the center of mass, all right, to the ground, all right? So that's just the height difference. You can think of this H as really a change in height, okay? Delta H. And you can think of this as a change in potential energy as well. So we can just plug in the numbers here, right? It's fairly straightforward. So the mass is gonna be seven times 10 to the nine. The value of g is 9.8, right? And the height here, they told us, was 36.5. So the gravitational potential energy is going to be 7 times 10 to the 9 times 9.8 times 36.5. And it becomes a value of 2.50 times 10 to the 12th. And that's in terms of joules. All right? So that takes care of letter A. Then letter B, it says... How does this energy compare with the daily food intake right, of a person? So if you look it up in the table in the book, the daily food intake is 1.2 times 10 to the 7 joules. So since I'm comparing this number to this number, I will divide this value by this value. Okay, so let's set that up. So it's simply going to be 2.50 times 10 to the 12th, all divided by 1.2 times 10 to the 7th. Okay, they're both in joules, so they're going to cancel. So we'll take that divided by 1.2 times 10 to the 7th. We get a value of about, yeah, no scientific here. I want to give you the, mag you know, I want you to get a feel for the magnitude of this. It's 209,000, you know, considering rounding. Um, 209,000. Uh, now, what would be the units here, right? Well, think about what we just found. This would be 209,000, like, person days, right? person days of food intake, right? It would be 209,000 days, right? Because this is the daily food intake and it's the daily in food intake of a person, all right? So uh, it's a lot, of, a lot of person days to build this particular pyramid just, just by looking at the gravitational potential energy required to, right, move it, you know, move these blocks into position. I mean, that doesn't take into account sourcing the materials, getting the materials to the site, all and trying to figure out a way to get them up there. Uh, it, it's one of the most amazing feats um, in the world, I think. So um, in any case, uh, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe and uh, look forward to helping you in the next question. Take care.